Oh, right. We're about to resume Rule of Rose. We have just led up to the third chapter, which is uh, May, since chapters are months in this. I uh, don't know too much about this, but it looks like uh, the next chapter has something to do with the theme of Hainan. The first chapter had a theme about Princess. The second chapter had a theme of a coffin. This one looks to be Hainan. There we go. When the unlucky girl awoke, she was back in the strange room. The boy in white clothes looked down with knowing eyes and spoke to her. Well, do you remember now what a bad girl you were? <laughs> you haven't gotten your memory back yet, have you? Well, you've totally done many, many bad things. You just have to remember them little by little, and when you fully remember what a truly bad girl you were, this game will end. Now, take your stupid dog and continue your char little games, dear Jennifer. <laughs> Off with laughing he goes, I guess. That's okay, though. Now then, it's time for the third chapter, or May 1930, which is known as Sir Peter. I don't know who the fuck Sir Peter is, but it looks kind of creepy in that picture, and he is a dead man, I'm going to assume from the title. <laughs> well, we've woken up in what was our previously the aircraft room. I would still think it's the aircraft room, except that uh, the first chapter took place in an orphanage. The second chapter took place suddenly on what seemed to be a aircraft. So I don't know what this chapter is. It looks like the room from the aircraft, but then there was rooms in the, like, the flying thing that had the looks from the mansion orphanage room. Hello, Bucket Man. Poor, helpless, unlucky girl, tell me your tale. Uh, I just want to save here for a second. I mean, the opening's nice and all, but uh, we'll get that out of the way so I can continue from here. At least we still have Brown with us. I mean, we saved Brown from the clutches of being bonded, so he seems to be pretty... He, he's been pretty helpful. At least he was pretty helpful in the last chapter. Hopefully he'll continue to be helpful. Nothing too much else to see in here. It looks like the same room I was trapped in last time, except there's something shiny on the floor. Jennifer found floral letter. I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Meet me where you can see the sky. Your friend, Amanda. I don't know an Amanda. Alright, uh, before we continue, our item pockets are nearly full, so I should probably throw some stuff away inside our item bin so we can pick them up at another date. Alright, so we have several things already in here. I will drop my clover keys. I guess I should keep the thing which I have. Do I need scissors? Uh, I'm just going to put everything in here unless course, there's a need for them. Like, do I don't think I need the butterfly case. Uh, let's see. Dirty rag. Don't believe I need that. Uh, Martha's hat. Don't believe I need that. Old photo. I'm holding it just in case. I want the knife. I don't think I need the fork because I have the knife as a weapon now. Uh, I don't think I need the green butterfly. Really? Let me keep the green butterfly. Uh, I'll keep the airship map just in case I'm still in the airship. But I don't think I need the Cloverfield book anymore. I didn't read the Cloverfield book though actually after I got it. If I pause, will there be more? Because you can still read the books uh, in your file. File. Was there more to add to the Cloverfield? Because last time I finished a the chapter there was more to add to the book I noticed. But... Let's see, the Cloverfield. There's nothing on the first page. I'm gonna see if it has anything new on the new pages. It should be after the four-leaf clover. Uh, nope, it's still empty. So I guess nothing has been added to that book. Stay. No, don't stay. Come on, Brownie. Come. Come. Okay, you good. Let's go break out this way. Now to confirm if we're on the aircraft or not. Yep, we're still on the aircraft, definitely. Sector 8 cargo bay. Now then. 
Where are we heading to on a giant magical floating aircraft? I don't know. Uh, apparently I need to go where I can see the sky. Uh, there's a few different places I can think of, which I've been to previously, but it has to be new territory. Because it'd probably be a way where there's windows. This area doesn't have any windows, so it's probably not around here, but there's lots of directions I haven't previously been able to check out. Like the room I'm entering. I have never been inside. Middle class luggage. <laughs> Middle class. Then again, there is a whole archy thing around this whole location. There's a shiny there as well. Jennifer found a steel pipe. Ooh. We're packing ourselves the weapons already. Though the knife was pretty handy, but I'm guessing that the steel pipe is slower but longer range. Possibly does more damage too. So I'll try it out for a bit. Steel pipe, I'd like to equip that. Thank you. Alright, with the steel pipe in hand, uh, there's probably nothing too much else to investigate. Steel pipes are usually, in my opinion, a good weapon choice in survival horror games. They have a pretty long range, and usually they're not that uh, weak either. So uh, they become usually, not always, because sometimes they're a bit too slow for my taste, but in a lot of horror games they have been a good ally. So I'll trust it for now. Uh, we'll be breaking over this way and continuing to... Was that people or monsters? No, that's people. Uh, it's those two kids from earlier and they're broom fighting. The girl tried to talk to the sloppy prince, but he wouldn't respond. You probably won't either, right? The girl tried to get his attention, but the glutinous prince ignored her. Alright. Both of them seem to have something against me. That's a damn shame. Then again, maybe it's something to do with the giant steel pipe I'm holding in my hand. I wouldn't blame them in that case. Hey, this door's open now, too. It wasn't earlier. It was, in fact, it was locked. Engine 3 maintenance. So it seems like there's new areas to explore, which means I should probably take my chance, too. That's nothing on the wall, apparently. And I already found another door. Sector 7 cargo bay. How big is this fucking airship? Well, I, I didn't need a question that I actually have a map on hand. Uh, let's see. There's still a whole lot... Wow, there's a whole lot to this I haven't explored yet. I, I'm surprised how big the locations in the Rule of Rose end up being. Like, they're almost ridiculously big, especially since uh, I wasn't even done exploring the first location, but now I'm already on top of an airship. Alright, there's a lot of different doors and areas I could potentially explore. I'm going to assume I'm going the right direction right now. Oh, look, it's that old Brad Olivia. There's a math equation on the chalkboard. Was someone giving a lecture? You're, you're the crying Princess Olivia, right? As the cheerful princess stood in front of an equation on the chalkboard, she said, Mr. Hoffman is really scary when he's mad. Sob, sob. Thank you, crying princess. They call her tearful, but pfft, fuck that. And there's also someone else here. From the other side of the fence, the mischievous prince taunted. <laughs> Have you been a bad girl? I'll turn Mr. Hoffman on you. Well. Let's just ignore the crying princess for now and be on our way. Everyone here is royalty besides me and the other girl. Sector 6 maintenance, correcto. And it was Sector 6 maintenance, and bingo was not Brownie's name -o. There's the other non royal girl. I guess she's uh, gaining away on an elevator. Though honestly, she should have probably taken the stairs. Ha! <laughs> Slap on the knee with that one. Alright, there's nothing else really of notice here, but I do want to explore a little bit before I go on a rapid chase after her. Some sort of sound effect. Gotta be careful though. Never know what sort of dark things lurk in the depths of our mind or something. I'm also trying to explore this, before I explore the other side, I'm just sort of running on this direction to see if there's anything here to see. Uh, for a second, I thought this was endlessly looping, but now I'm pretty sure it isn't. Yeah, I can't walk past this. Gas is being pumped. You can't go any further. So that's a negative for us. Time to check the other route. Guess I'll start off this direction. Uh, is that an elevator or something? 
No, it's like a ladder downward. Wheresoever may this ladder lead. Engine 5. I've gone up on the higher parts of this, but I've never gone down in the engine rooms. So let's see. Kind of crowded in here, but found my way. It's probably other ladders then. Why would I want to be in the engine room? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't actually know. In fact, this strikes me as a bit dangerous. Still though, back up I go. Didn't see anything that used down in the engine room, so I'll just assume there was nothing. Alright, uh, this should be the same. Is this area also blocked off by smoke or steam or whatever it is? Or am I even going the right direction? Let me pull out my map. No, I'm going backwards. I should probably check the other side of things. I'll wait till the next crossover area, which should be to my left in just a moment. Here we go. What's over here? Uh, there's a big shiny. Just seems to be a light, though. It's not anything I can actually interact with. I'm still wondering why uh, good old Jennifer doesn't pick up a light, though. You would think that that would be useful in the circumstance she's in, where it's pretty dark all around, but nope. She's just fine holding this ridiculously huge steel pipe. Oh, wow, she's fast with that. Now I'm worried about how efficient the steel pipe will be. Just an endless pit over there, so nothing to gain from going this direction. Come, Brown. Onward, my doggy dog! Oh, wait! Wait a second! I could have made Brown sniff the letter! And if he sniffed the letter, he would know exactly where to go, right! However, I'm not going to do that yet, because I'm still in exploring mode. While I'm in exploring mode, I'd like to explore. But, right, if I want to know where to go, I can make Brown sniff the letter, and he'll probably tell me where I'm supposed to be going. Because he's a dog, and that's what he's good at, apparently. So this, uh, here we go, some sort of elevator. Caution, backup power will be activated in the event of a power failure. To restore power after a failure, restart generator 1 in sector 11. Seems like we have a puzzle. Uh, here's a map of where the generator is. Apparently we need to turn off power and where to restore power. Okay, it's telling me... I want to press the upper button, I'm pretty sure. So first, let's try the lower button. Let's see what's down here. Oh, it just took me out exactly where I was. Uh, how about the middle button? Up we go. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go to the upper area, but middle area is probably going to be the first thing I'm going to explore. Just because I've never been in this middle area, I'm pretty sure it's the upper area I'm supposed to go to. Poor, helpless, unlucky girl, tell me your tale. Oh, that's Bucket Knight. Uh, I guess I'll ask for a hint while I'm here. If memory serves me correctly, when you awoke, the, f uh, the fun had ended and the day was done. However, you're still just a beggar. The letter you received, that's your only clue. I know I'm supposed to get a brownie here to sniff it, but I want to explore before I start looking for the right thing to do. There's a ladder here that'll take me up someplace. I'll trust in that, but first of all, what's over here, and why is it so freaking dark? Apparently, it's a place I cannot continue. That's a shame. Uh, anything else around the... No, 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 there we go. Anything else over here? Is this just going to be another dead end? Seems like it. Alright, so if we have nothing but dead ends over here, the only thing is either going to be the elevator or the ladder. Let's try the ladder first. Or not, because I can't actually access it. Alright, you've won this round, and this middle platform seems just to be a save station. I guess we'll be going up to the upper floor like I'm just pretty sure they wanted me to do. Upper floor we go. And yes, this game was banned in a few countries. I won't go into the whole reason why, because we're not discussing spoilers until we get further into the game. Now then... Uh, this area seems pretty blocked off too. What was the point of... Oh, there's a ladder. Brownie can't follow me up a ladder though. So what's he gonna do? It was a dark, starless night. This is obviously completely safe, also. Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, Brownie, you didn't miss much. <laughs> so I probably can I climb back up? Yes, I can. Before I take the elevator down, I want to investigate this, see what this is. The wind is howling outside. It's too strong. All right. Too strong for us to do anything now, apparently. I was going to say standing on top of a giant blimp is kind of a stupid idea, but what, a... what do I know? Uh, I guess we're going back to the lower floor. Uh, we probably triggered some event to happen, because I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. Alright. Uh, so, Brownie, what did we learn? Uh, man does kind of cuckoo. I, I when were we friends? The only time I met her, she was trying to hog off with a butterfly. Anyways, though, onward and outward, I guess. Uh, let's just head back and pretend we heard and saw nothing. All right, Brownie. Or, I know his name is Brown, but can I just call him Brownie? It's just so tempting. It's just Brownie sounds much more appropriate for you to me than, than Brown. Uh, let's see, is the girl that- is the crying girl over here, actually? I, I can't tell. No, 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 the kids have disappeared. That's actually probably a really bad thing, because that means they're probably plotting something. When kids disappear, especially over in Rule of Roseland, that probably means something's up. Let me guess, the two kids that were previously fighting with brooms are gone too, right? Uh, I guess we're about to find out. Sure is a long way just to get back. Then again, this whole aircraft is pretty twisted and fairly dark. In fact, have I been in here? What is this place? I don't actually recognize this fully. Let me open up my map. Where am I? I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Oh yeah, I'm at a dead end. No wonder. Uh, which means I could probably just go back down over here and continue the way I came. Or, not to the way I came, more to the left. There we go, there's the door to the left. And now, this is the room where we saw the two kids uh, flying earlier with the brooms. Will they be gone? I'd place my money on it, but I'm not going to. Oh no, they're still here actually. They seem to have a jolly good time. Of course, when we approach them, they'll stop. Apparently, they just don't like us very much. What a shame. What a shame. Alright, uh... Is there another door over here? Without just lead to the same area, I'm just checking my map to make double sure. Yep. Both of these would lead to the exact same area. That means I guess I'll try going up to the Red Aristocrats area to see if anything's changed. Has anything changed? Darn if I know. Sector 8 Stairway. There's also a knight I could talk to to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing, though, if I get too lost. Brownie, we're going up to the Red Aristocrats' rooms. 
I could go over to the witch's chambers, or I could go and try and go inside rooms that were previously locked, which I could do over here as well, so I might as well start here, especially since this area is much smaller than some of the areas I was previously in. First class guest sector. Alright. Uh, first of all, oh yeah, we should talk to the door to find out what the new offering it wants is. Right. This is probably is the right thing to do. What's the offering of the month, door? Uh, read the poster. This month's gift, one hornet Peter. One horned Peter? Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is, but we'll try and find it. Uh, okay. Nothing else to see or do here. Uh, I'm just going to pretend it's a unicorn and I'll probably be okay. Hopefully. That door is still locked. I was kind of hoping that some of these doors would have been unlocked uh, with the time span it took us to explore. And they're hopefully off running around doing something else. Those nasty little children. I mean, beautiful little angels. Oh, this door is open. The VIP room. I've never been in here. Which means there might be something here for us. Oh, it's that one girl. Now, let's see. There's an aquarium here. Can't investigate it. Can't investigate the bed either. Uh, how about you? The strong-willed princess snorted in disgust and said to the girl, You're such a slowpoke. The search for Peter is already over. I wonder which one of you is slower. You were Amanda. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Uh, okay. <laughs> Nothing really gained from going here besides learning that apparently Peter's already been found, so... Onward and onward. There's other doors I can probably check too that were previously locked. Uh, I guess the first one I can check... There was a secret passage over here, which is still locked. I wonder what that secret passage door is for. It looks like a wall, except if you interact with it, it definitely is a door, and you can tell it from the right angle. But, no idea what it's for. Guess I can check in these directions again, like the library. Ah, there's probably no one else left in the library that was earlier, in the last month, apparently. Months are like days in this game, honestly. Oh, actually, there's someone in here. It's Glasses Girl. Hey, Glasses Girl. The wise-looking princess spoke nonchalantly with satisfaction in her eyes. In today's search for Sir Peter, the two absences are Jennifer and Amanda. This will be re referred to by, as this will be reported to the princess. You'll be dully punished. Oh boy. I guess Amanda has gotten us in trouble? I don't know, I just woke up, so apparently I, apparently I sleep for a whole month, and then I'm awake for a single day of the month to do whatever the fuck you guys are telling me to do. Well, also I gotta check up the medical ward, because there were some things interesting about the sick room and the other room last time. I wonder if there's anything interesting about them now. They had interesting characters in them I don't know too much about. Is that someone in the bed? Yeah, it was. <coughs> Mr. Bunny is gone! <coughs> Bunny's gone? Mr. Bunny was taken by the aristocrats. Please save him. Alright. So I have a duty from this princess, or girl. I just call them princesses, I don't know why. It's a drawing of a large flying fish, and there's also a drawing of a bunny. So obviously the bunny is really important to her. So I guess we need to find the bunny from the aristocrats. Uh, I think I'm done learning about fishes and all that right now. Now, how about the other room? So keep that in mind. Oh, it's locked. But keep in mind, there is a bunny on the loose. And if I can find the bunny and return it to this girl, we're probably good. She's not part of the aristocrats. She seems to be sickly. And, uh, wouldn't imagine the aristocrats, or the red crown aristocrats, getting too well with one who is sickly. So maybe they took the bunny for some demented purpose. That is my guess, but I guess we'll find out. And... <laughs> Um, uh, 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 yes. See what the teacher's up to. After we can see. Can't see sh- Wait, what? 
Um, uh, 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 uh. Freaking hell. Yes. Useless brat. Um, uh, uh, uh. From what I can tell, uh, those uh, imps Useless have caught him in some saw esque trap. <laughs> Intriguing. Uh, the three kids are those imp things that we've been killing and have been attacking us, so. He seems to have gotten himself in a trap, which I guess each of the adults are getting killed off one by one. Last time was the witch lady. Well, I don't know why I just went back in this hallway. I've already explored this area. Alright, so we've learned two things. First of all, we missed Peter and we're in trouble. Uh, second of all, we're in the process and need to find a bunny. I know how the whole chart works. Uh, then those people, and I am the beggar, which makes me at the bottom. Hey, this door's open now, too. The salon? Intriguing. Hmm. Uh, wait, yeah, this looks very familiar. This looks like the headmaster's waiting room in the regular world, except things have been changed around, or... This could be the regular world, I just... I have a feeling something's weird here. Butterfly is running around. This cold princess is staring intently at the red bird. Oh, that's a bird. Brownie, I, I think you're stuck. Stay! Come! Can I hit this butterfly or bird away? No, uh, I guess he's just, or she is just focused on that. Brownie, I know you're stuck there between the couches, but uh, there you are. I knew that magically teleport you to where I was. So, nothing much going on there besides the cold princess intently staring at birds. Uh, so, we need to find a bunny, and we're in trouble. Does this say anything? Uh, no, I know social classes. It's Duchess Diana, and Countess Eleanor. And Baroness Meg in the lower class. Poor Amanda. And beggar Jennifer. Now uh, break something? I don't think breaking anything is gonna benefit. Not to mention I have no idea what to break. I'm just going to go explore the other part of the ship I haven't explored yet. All right, let's go, Brownie. There are doors over here I haven't checked. There's also a girl staying here. Or it could be a boy. The impetuous princess bustled about complaining. Peter smells like pee. He's so stinky, I don't want to touch him. Stinky, stinky, go away. Okay, is this door open, by the way? Nope, it's still locked. Means they'll be running over this direction. And back over to the other part of the sector. Sector 8 Cargo Bay. These two are probably still broom fighting. And I come in with my steel pipe and kill everyone! Or, or not. Alright, uh. How about in here? There's probably no one in here, but worth a check, I guess. In the broom closet. Various broadcast equipment is set up here. The one, uh, the ones whose voice you heard must have been cut using this, which is probably the white princess I've pieced together mostly. Doesn't seem anything else in here besides all the do uh, doodles from last time. So uh, let's check out the other sectors and see if we trigger any events. I hope it isn't in the clover rooms, though. To be fair, we have not been in the four leaf clover door yet, have we? That is an affirmative in my mind, so I guess it could have something to do with that. Oh, actually, we can't go back in those sectors. They are tied up, so I guess we are literally stuck to do something, a monster we are right now. Maybe we should go to the room of the Red Aristocrats. You know, to be fair, I haven't checked there. 
I've checked like everywhere else except the Red Aristocrat room, but I don't think you're supposed to enter there unless Chris you get your offering. Except apparently I already missed my offering, and so did Amanda. So whatsoever waits for us. There's no way to find out to so try going inside there. To be fair, I didn't even try going last time. But in this case, it seems like the event already passed, and apparently I and Amanda are awaiting punishment. So maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I've pieced together that I missed the event thanks to trying to follow what Amanda was trying to say to me. Is there more that I'm supposed to do? Ah, well, the door will tell me if I can't enter, if I can't enter, I'm pretty sure. The magical talking door. Hi, magical door. I don't have any offerings, but I will try and open the door. No, it's locked. Check the box. Something is stuck inside. Alright. Make an offering. Don't really know what I could offer. You want a floral letter? You can't offer that since there is already something in the box. Alright, uh, seems that's that. Hmm. Now it's time to talk to the Magical Knight. The Magical Knight, I actually need your help right now. Oh, but the room that. Um, um, oh, I went the wrong way. You shouldn't be over um, here. Yes. Where did the dressing room go? I know what direction this is now. I probably have my directions backwards because the camera's turned backwards. This guy's kind of tied up in his room. Different imps are all there, gain them already, so. Uh, do I have anything Brownie can track? Uh, not that I know is important. Of course, there's always things I can make Brownie track, but if you would actually find something? Don't know. First of all, I want to try to see if I can find the dressing room, though. I want to talk to the knight. Except I think. I need to go to a place where I can uh, talk to one of the knights. I guess the save room back at the beginning would be the best place. The dressing room appears to have been locked right now, so... the dressing room's locked, then yeah. I... The only knights I can think of are one that are in uh, the engine area, and one that is back where... Brownie? There you are, Brownie. And one that was back in the room that I started off in. I'll try talking to the knight in the room that I started out in, and if he has no good advice, then I'll try and make a brownie sniff stuff. Brownie maybe can pick up on something. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try talking to these boards sword fine first of all. I haven't actually talked to them since the first time. However, they still seem to be ignoring me, so I'm going to assume that's uh, deliberate. Let's go over this way. And in the beginning room, uh, let's talk to the Bucket Knight. Bucket Knight survival. The filth room. All right, Bucket Knight, do you have a tip for me uh, this evening? Poor helpless and lucky girl, tell me your tale. Uh, I'd actually like a clue from you right now. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, when you awoke, the f uh, the fun had ended and the day was done. However, you're still just a beggar. The letter you received, that's your only clue. Except I really... <sighs> Alright, sniff the letter. Fine. Alright, go, Brown. Go I'll follow you and find out where the fuck Amanda went to. To be fair, I don't know where she went to after we left, so... Maybe Brown's nose. Maybe I'm supposed to find Amanda, because I'm aware that she and I are the ones to be uh, tortured, and I haven't seen her since I went to, up to the roof. So I guess maybe the letter's right. So, Brown, where the fuck did Amanda go? Let's follow his nose, because his nose, where's the nose that goes with the plows and the rose and the rule of rose? She's over here, you say? Oh, dear, say, Mr. Brown, you're on to something. Oh yeah, there was a door here, which I've never gone inside. Good job, uh, I said good job there. Working class luggage, the one room I forgot existed. Funny. Anyways, though. And there she is. First time I pick up the shiny. Uh, I guess I found a lollipop. Gonna take it back to the candy shop. Alright, Amanda, uh, you and I are in trouble. We should probably discuss it after I check this over here. 
Apparently she really doesn't want me to. Granny, please get out of the way for a second. But what's up, Amanda? I have a wonderful gift. Just for you. It's almost ready, so please wait a little longer. <laughs> I don't trust that girl. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else around here? Uh, nothing I can touch. A cloth is covering something that's about knee high. Intriguing. Can't say there's too much else to see or do. Sector 8, Cargo Bay. Amanda and Jennifer report to the gift box at once. Nervously, the small-hearted princess rolled her shoulders and said, too bad, but the gift will have to wait. For now, let's wish ourselves luck, Jennifer. <laughs> He's still sniffing her out. <laughs> Brown. Such a kidder. I'm gonna do what I'm not supposed to do and check to see what she's working on. I really don't trust uh, her instincts here. What was this over here, first of all? There's a small diary with a floral pattern on its cover, inside the glass case. However, the case is locked. I probably can't shower with a steel pipe. I mean, logically I could, but then to be fair, uh, that might get me in huge-ass trouble with either the adults, or the Red Aristocrats, or with Amanda herself. So, anyways, time to report to the gift box. Brownie, I know where she- I, I should probably tell Brownie to stop following her. I know I'm invited to the Red Aristocrats. But, you know, I'm gonna let him keep on looking. Uh, I would actually argue that horror games do have their own train of logic. Uh, however, though, you have to keep in mind this is a fictional world, and uh, I like games that have fictional worlds that have their own rules of logic. Because since so far there's nothing in Rule of Rose to contradict itself. It has a world that's not the same as our own, but is definitely uh, confined by its own sense of logic. You're saying Amanda's over here? Really? Amanda's in here? I guess it makes sense for her to be in here. She wasn't here previously. And yeah, there she is. Crawling on all fours, a small-hearted princess said, Peter must be around here somewhere. I'm sure. I'm sure. S sit. <laughs> Uh, I guess uh, she thinks Peter is in the library. I I hate to tell you this, Amanda, but Peter, he doesn't strike me as a kid who'd be in the library. Anyways, though, then again, you don't strike me as a kid who'd be in the library either. So what do I know? I uh, read the poster. Emergency! One horde Peter ran away! Catch him! Catch him! Alright. I know who Peter is, so I guess we have to find him. Do I don't think I have anything to sniff out Peter, though. If I do, maybe I put it away. I can't think of him giving me anything. Lollipop, that's for healing. That is for healing. So, uh... I had to tell Brownie, but his efforts to try and find Amanda are not exactly needed right now. Actually, I'll check the box when I go back around the corner in just a second. First, I'm going to check these other doors. VIP room. So I guess we're on a hunt for a good old Peter here. I'll talk to you again. The strong will princess snorted and commented, or commanded... Now hurry up and go find him. It's time for you, uh, it's time for you peons to work. 
Ha <laughs> ha, Dwaddle T. Lawn and Amanda will beat you to him. Oh, is that, there's a third person who's looking for Peter. Guess there is. However, though, if I can find an item of Peter's, uh, Brownie can sniff it out, which will make my job a little bit too easy. That's the woes, that's the plus having a dog when it comes to search and find things. If I can find an object that's associated with him, uh, Brownie could sniff it out very easily. So obviously I have an advantage here. I want to talk to the bunny girl. Oh, because I need to still find her bunny. Maybe it's on this side that it's at, though. Oh, I was already in the library. Why well, come back here? I don't mean to insult you guys. I guess I can talk to Glasses Girl and see what she says now, because she might have something new to say. With an icy stare, the wise looking princess spoke to the girl. Sir Peter has run away. Jennifer and Amanda, you are to find him immediately. Alright. Continuing the hunt we go. Uh, Peter was that kid that we saw earlier who was laughing behind the gate. He's disappeared since then, though. I know who he is, so... Um, uh, is it the same, the still uh, thing uh, happening here? Yeah. Yep, this teacher seems to still be kind of sizey trapped by the imps. At least the imps seem to be distracted on him right now. That does mean it'll probably come for me later, though. <laughs> Alright, back out of that. I'll talk to Bunny Girl again. Uh, she still wants to find her bunny. The only problem is I don't have any clues to where her bunny might be. She says the Red Aristocrats probably have them, but uh, there's no uh, certainty of that at this moment. Bunny girl, do you have anything I can sniff? I'm also looking for Sir Peter, but I don't mind looking for your bunny as well. I'll look around a little bit. How about you? Or turn around this way. Mr. Bunny was taken away by the aristocrats. Please save him. Yay. Yeah, so save a bunny for this character. There's also something written here on the wall. Man, I can't read that one, but I can read the fist pictures, apparently. Or maybe I can move over... Yeah, here we go. A drawing of a gingerbread house. It's a cheerful drawing with many wonderful sweets. But something that looks like a pistol is in the middle of the house. Odd. Alright, back out there we go. Uh, let's head on out and continue our search for Peter. Peter! I have a feeling that he's going to be... You know what, I guess I should check where I think he is before I check all these other places. I don't think he is. Well, I don't think he's back here for once. I know I'm running over that direction. But it's still good to be a completionist, I guess, because there's a very big chance he's not where I think he is. However, though, he's probably not where Amanda thinks he is. Peter's in the library? Come on, Amanda. That's like... Uh, he's, he's not the type to read books in the slightest. Let's see. Yep, the ice cold princess is still here. The cold princess spoke to the girl in even emotion in an even emotionless voice, tone. Peter should not be out of his cage. Huh. Well, that's not disturbing. Uh, let's see. If we go over this way. Now, if we go back down, still a lot to find. He's probably somewhere in the engine hole on the account that that's the area that's opened up right now. Now then. Maybe she knows where he is. The, or the impetuous princess bustled about complaining. Peter smells like uh, smells like poo. He's so stinky. I don't want to touch him. Stinky, stinky, go away. This door is probably still not open, and no one was surprised this day. I wonder if the two other guys know where he is. But they're not talking to me, so probably not. He could be over where I saw him last, 
Oh wait, maybe where I saw him last was his cage. Oh, the questions, the questions, the questions that are raised. Okay, so, uh, last time I saw Peter was over here, so I might as well take the chance to look over here for the moment. I don't actually expect him to be over here, but this was, like, basically the last place I saw him. So, yeah. I... Oh, there's something here. Oh, there's a ladder here. Engine 4. I didn't realize there was an engine ladder here. Okay. So this is the fourth engine. Uh, doesn't actually appear to be too much here, though, outside of the engine. But f because there's so many engine rooms, I have my suspicions. However, though, I also have to say, having engine rooms like this is incredibly dangerous. I understand why you can go into the engine rooms, but for Jennifer just to crawl right into them, incredibly dangerous. Uh, I don't... So far, I haven't ran into a guy named Thomas yet. They mostly have nicknames as well. We have a guy named Peter, so... Uh... Gonna... Gonna find my way back after my camera angle sells in. Is it this way? Yep, it was this way. Let's go, Jennifer. Let's go. You know, I'm going to try something. Before I take the lawn trip to where I think that Peter is, I'm going to check two other places that I don't think he is. Because if you check all the don'ts, then eventually you'll find the yes. But first, I should probably talk to those boys. Or actually... Here's where I... Actually, I took the wrong turn. This, I guess I'll explore this area first. This is the cage where I saw him last time. So... I don't know why people are questioning how he got away. There's a door right behind him. But regardless... You think that Peter's the rabbit? Uh, Peter could be the rabbit, but I thought he was the guy from earlier. Hmm. It could be something about the box earlier. Peter could be the bunny. I guess the bunny thing would make sense, and there's a rabbit. I will check the box before I leave. Maybe there's a clue about where I could sniff him out with the box. That is actually a distinct possibility I hadn't really considered too much, because the box was loaded. That was my steel pipe I was seeing moving, I think. I swear to God, I just saw something move. But it's probably just the steel pipe. But that is a distinct possibility. I guess I'm going to try my hand at seeing if there's anything in the box I can use for Brownie to sniff out. So, maybe, like, if it is the bunny, maybe the bunny left some sort of trail I can use to have Brownie sniff him out. Let's go over this direction. Oh, it was you, Brownie. I was like, is that something walking towards me? But it was just good old Brownie. Alright, check the box. Oh yeah, the box is busted. The box is crushed. Did Peter escape, and is he responsible? Oh, I was kind of hoping there'd be something there to use. But guess not. There's nothing for my sniffing trail. Sorry, Brownie. Looks like we're going this one without your nose so far. Ah, but where is Brownie usually stored? That would make my duty so much easier if I had some sort of clue, but I don't fucking know. So right now, I've checked about half of the plane I can currently check out. Unless, of course, maybe the back door finally opened. There's a chance that would have happened. In fact, if I could check anywhere, I'd like to check the animal pins. Or the pens. They'd probably be the best thing to check. The two boys who were fencing are now missing. I have my suspicions about something, though. Actually, there's something over here. It's the bunny! Alright, I found Peter. Where did Peter run off to? Did he run inside the room? I was trying to... So yeah, Peter is the bunny. Did he run into my room? <laughs> Joshua, I've written a new story for you. Hello, 
Okay. Now then, Peter ran into the filth where I guess Peter is the bunny. Shinies in here. Jennifer found Peter's droppings. Wonderful. The back contains the same black pellets that are spread across the floor. Well, at least it's something for a uh, good old doggy to sniff out. Also, we found Sir Peter. Sir Peter is a storybook. All right, Sir Peter, Sir Peter went out for a stroll. Sir Peter, Sir Peter put in the cage, had to hold it in. What? Had to hold it in? I thought it was gonna rhyme, apparently not. Sir Peter, Sir Peter needs to go right now. Doesn't want to sin. Sir Peter, Sir Peter bagged and whisked away before he found the toilet. Goodbye, Peter. Goodbye. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. There goes Sir Peter. Apparently the rabbit can open doors. Watch out. Anyways, I know what I'm supposed to do. Puppy, it's up to you to find him. We have a uh, poop. I'm not gonna say that with a straight face, by the way. Go! Go, Brownie, go! <laughs> Brownie, sniff out that poop! Alright, Brian. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Yep, we're gonna go into this part of the ship. Oh, we also have enemies dressed like bunnies now. Silly old bunny imps. So it's not safe, exactly, but we'll probably be fine. I see Peter. Stop running, Peter. We'll have to get him into a corner eventually. Yeah, I know he went this way. At least Brown needs a little bit of help uh, trying to determine where he goes and at least sight of him. But outside of that, I could have sworn Peter was the boy, but I guess it's the bunny. Makes sense because I was looking for the bunny as well. This way, you say? There's a shiny here. Jennifer found kitchen knife. Uh oh. Well, hello, imps. Now, where'd Peter run off to? I run this direction, I'll let uh, Brown set. Oh, never mind, can't go that direction. Enemies still haven't given up. Am I supposed to go this way? Alright, Brown, tell me wherever the fuck Peter went. That way? First, I'll pick up the shinies, though. Jennifer found Biscuit. Why is there a trail of biscuits? Could this be a trap that was laid out for, uh, Peter? Trevor found minced pie. Why is so much food laying down here? That really did seem like a trap that'd be laid out for an animal or something. Ah, uh, well, a Brown is very certain that Peter's in this direction, so I'll trust him, even though you know that there's a bunch of, uh, imps in there, but yeah. Now then, sector to crew cabin, which means that we should need to involve... I'll follow you in a second, Brown. It's not safe to run that direction. So I'm guessing that Peter ran this direction then. Through here? There, yeah, Brown knew where to go. So I guess uh, Peter ran this direction here. 
I guess we need to kill the imps before we can go through there, though. Get off. Ah, I just got free. Anyone want to get close? Uh, okay, these things don't kill things as fast as the knife. They're all pile driving me. Ah, okay, I need to get out of the way for a second. Alright. Try it. Wait, wait. Ah, okay, there we go. I need to check my health in a second. Get off me! If I die, I haven't saved in a while, so... I need to kill more of these kids before they get me, or imps, or whatever. Get off me! They're almost all dead. my health, don't want to lose all my health. Alright, kill that one. Thank you for hanging it, Brownie. Alright, they're all dead. Congrats, we've killed everything. How's my health holding up? Can't tell if that means I'm doing good or bad. I need to still figure out all of that. I could eat a lollipop just to be safe, though, but can this door finally open? Or not. Go. So Brownie still says that he's behind this door. Maybe we need to take the long route around, because he's definitely behind there, but there is more than one way into that room, and that way seems to be blocked off. So maybe I was right originally, go the way of the biscuits. Because that is an alternative way to get in there, so yeah. Sector 11, maintenance. Alright. I know you're gonna say it's that way, but I've got an idea right now, uh, Brownie, when you do, so please come after me for now. I know you're right that's where he is, but there's other doors that might lead to where he is before that. Generator room. Actually, I don't think I've ever been in here. This room was locked previously. Generator 1 is operating smoothly. Generator two or 3 is operating smoothly. Alright, so smooth generators, I guess. I, I know, but now let's get out of here. For the moment, that has nothing for us. In the future, probably will be helpful. Now then, the way I thought would be the right way is either this- I've actually- is this door open now? It is! I've never been in here. It's the kitchen. Huh. There's enemies in here, but I don't see them. Weird, I hear them, but I definitely don't see them. Now what's in here? Locked. Oh, there they are. It's the bunny children. They're faster than the regular imps. There you are, Brownie. So, uh, the kitchen's not the place we want to be right now. However, though, this other route's probably going to take us where we want to go. It's the this door. This door leads to the area where Peter should be. If the other side of this is open, the, through the smoking room. <laughs> Fuck, it's locked. Thought my idea was a smart one. There we 
go. No, he was still alive. Not that kid either. The bunny imps also have more health, it seems. Now the door's been unlocked. Someone ran off. Alright, so I was right to come this direction. Now Sir Peter should be in here. Uh, we have no idea who's driving the ship yet. I haven't been to the room, the pilots room, or whatever. But there are adults here, so... Wait, that, that one was a knife. Ow. The knife kid apparently has a lot of health. How's my health holding up? Okay, that's how I tell my health. Uh, that's uh, a lot more definitive. Jennifer found Baron. I don't know what that is. Uh, you think he's in the restroom? I guess a rabbit who smells like poo probably would be hiding in the restroom. In his laboratory. And I think this quest is almost over. Say he's in here? Knock. Nothing. Open. Ah, hell, he ran off again. I know he's out here. We just saw him run out, uh, Brownie. Alright, so where's the rabbit gone off to this time? This way? Alright. Sector 10 crew cabin. Hopefully this rabbit chase ends pretty soon. We've already killed everyone in here, so... Pleasant, right? I could have grabbed him if I didn't miss him. So I'm going to mash the grab button. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm supposed to grab him and that would be the end of the mission as opposed to find a dead end where he gets himself stuck at. Because there's been a few opportunities where he just ran right past me. So I'm just mashing the button right now. Enemies are falling from the fucking ceiling, apparently. But that's okay. We won't let them intimidate us. Excuse me, bunny children. Or just imps. Ah, I took a wrong turn to Albuquerque. Middle class luggage. Oh, I actually went the right way. Bunny. I know you and I have our difficulties, have our problems, but this is a little bit too much. Even for me. Sector 8, Cargo Bay. I think this bunny would eventually give it up, but apparently not. Please don't head backwards. Good, he ran this way. Ah! I'm opening up every door, it seems like. I'm pretty sure he's not inside the broom closet, though. To be honest, where the fuck am I? I didn't think he came in here, I just was mashing. It's so dark inside the locker, you can't tell how deep it is. The distinct smell of clean supplies is present. Oh, I know. I'm trying to get out of here. I thought I took a wrong turn, but I couldn't fix it once I was going through the door, so yeah. Now then, back to chasing down Peter. Ah, uh, of course he went back here. Just making me run around all over to catch this little bunny guy. I wonder if I could have come by now, because there's at least two opportunities where I ran at my feet. No, 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 no. Get, get these children bunny things off me, imps, I guess. Now then. Let's see. Sector 7.
Yeah. <laughs> Why you, little rat, Jenny? Did you make a mess again? This is unforgivable, you dirty, dirty girl. <laughs> Well, I guess what was happening to that. Oh, I just started. Hey, can I get out of here or am I supposed to beat them? I have to beat them. The doors are locked. Silly old man. Oh, you kicked him! What a douche! But this has what happened to the, He seemed to have lost an arm somewhere in the process. So, yeah, I guess something bad happened to him. Well, there goes that much. I still have plenty of food, though. Alright, you and I are using like the same sort of types of weapons. That was insane. Oh, I'm almost dead. I was wondering why I'm moving so slow. I'll eat myself a minced pie. Uh, how about a lollipop? Not that. So let's use a lollipop. I should save my game next opportunity I get. Get behind him. Yeah, nah, not like that. Getting myself up right now. Luckily took the wrong... Fuck. Silly old guy. Though you were transformed by those uh, imp peoples into a monster. I was wondering what was happening to you exactly, but yeah. Ow. We're having a batting battle here. I can't leave until I kill you, though. At least you don't have anything super deadly, though. Now my health, how's it holding up? He does a good amount of damage, but I think I'll be fine. There he is, something stupid. So now I'll spray my weapon. Ow. Alright, so we got over here. I have other weapons, but uh, not anything long distance. That's what you wonder. Just nice outside of this. Well, that's the second one. A warm bag. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to go? Go. Oh, he's telling me that the sniff of the rabbits disappeared. Well, that that that's a shame. All right. Well, hopefully, what we have is good enough. Rabbit sense dead, so I'm gonna assume the rabbit's dead. Now then. Go back and unlock the door? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. What's in the bag? I don't know. Now then, Sector 8. Now let's see, is the rabbit inside the bag? Got biscuits. Uh, warm bag. Look. A sunny sack with something wriggling around inside it. Well, this probably isn't going to turn out very well, I can imagine, but I promise I didn't kill the bunny. The bunny, uh, it's, a, it's kind of complicated. 
You see, I was chasing the bunny, and there was all these imps, and eventually uh, they were beating him up with brooms, and then uh, that one teacher guy showed up, and he tried to kill me. But I got the best of him, I killed him before he killed us, and now here's the body of Peter. I was kind of thinking maybe Amanda was going to be in there, but guess not. So let's turn in our little goodie bag, I guess. Hey, one of these girls, you go on out yourself a goodie bag. It's full of lots of surprises. Oh, the whiny girl's gone. She's gone from her corner. All right. Let's go over this way, then. Hey, I brought them the body of Peter. They didn't tell me if to bring him back dead or alive. That's their fault. Why, hello there, Amanda. The small-hearted princess spoke with her eyes on the bag in the girl's hands. <laughs> we did. We make a routine. Hand me Peter. I'll give him to them for us. Oh, come on, Amanda. Come the fuck on. Down, girl, down! I killed someone already today, so I've got no qualms. Uh, but I have to, because I can't get to the bag. That's why you're gaining weight, so you could be a good blockade. Alright. Whatever. I know I have to do it, so here, here you the fuck go. He was still alive? He was still alive? Oh well, inward we go. I know he said it was wiggling, but he had enough energy with him to just, just get up and go. Gentlemen, welcome to the Aristocrat Club. I wish to thank you for gathering here today. Jennifer! <laughs> May I have your attention? This is a message from the Princess of the Rose. The message reads, Jennifer, your efforts this month deserve special recognition. You managed to find Peter and will be amply rewarded. Thus concludes the message from the Princess. Splendid work, Jennifer. You are no longer a wretched peon. Amanda, on the other hand, has been demoted. Amanda! It's time, Jennifer. Jennifer! 
Would I like to save? Yeah. Uh, probably, but I was gonna say, the whole point of that, I, I mean, I knew it was the same mouse scene that happened before, except vice versa, except the mouse died and had lots of maggots crawling in it, so that's, that's, that's cool, I guess. On to chapter four, which is probably the month of June. Also, why the fuck was there a forest in the plane? Something's up here. Oh, somehow we jumped all the way from May to October. Okay.